सॉल्व कॉस टू एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन वेर एक्स लाइ इन द इंटरवल जीरो टू टू पाई हियर दे टोल्ड यू टू सॉल्व सो यू शुड फाइंड द वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स सैटिस्फाइंग दिस इक्वेशन एंड ऑल्सो इट शुड लाइ इन द इंटरवल जीरो टू टू पाई हियर यू हैव टू पाई दैट मीन्स यू शुड गेट द आंसर इन रेडियंस For that, put your calculator in radians mode. I repeat, put your calculator in radians mode. Now, the given equation is cos 2x equal to minus 1. Now, to get the values for 2x, here it is cos, and here we have negative. So now we should check. In what all quadrants is cos negative? It is all silver T cups. So cos is negative in the second and in the third. So now 2x equal to to get an angle in the second quadrant, we should do pi minus cos inverse one. To get an angle in the third quadrant, we should do pi plus cos inverse one. Remember this: the negative sign should be used only for selecting the quadrants. Once quadrants have been selected, do not place negative sign again here. Remember that. Now. 2x equal to. Before you calculate this, make sure your calculator is in radians mode. Now, put this in the calculator. You get pi. Put this in the calculator. You get pi. Now the question arises: In what interval? Should the values for 2x lie? Question two. More, how many values shall I find for 2x? To answer that, we do this. Here, x lie in this interval. We should get 2x. For that, you multiply by two. So we get zero less than or equal to two x less than or equal to four pi. Now the values for two x should lie in this interval. When this happens, then automatically the values for x will lie in this interval. Am I clear? Now we should write all the values for two x. in this interval does pi lie in this interval yes accept it to get another value we should add 2 pi to this when we add 2 pi i get 3 pi does 3 pi lie in this interval yes so accept to get another value i should add 2 pi to this This time I get five pi. This do not lie in this interval, so this you reject it. So the values we got for two x are pi and three pi. Now to get the values for x, we should remove this two. So to remove the two, you divide by two. So here we get x equal to here it is pi by two. And here three pi by two. These are the values for x. This is our answer. Am I clear?